Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial I will be teaching you how to replace your soldier's body with a rigid body. Now this is not your soldier, this is like uh, probably a bad guy's body or uh, your other bad guy models or whatever you want to do and replace them with a rigid body. So once they die, rather than them disappearing and just leaving nothing there, we're going to replace it with a dead body which can be shot and moved around the whole area. Now at the moment I'll show you what happens. Alright, you can see if I go towards him and just shoot him, it destroys itself. And same goes with this one, it destroys itself. Now what I want to do is, when I shoot them, and when the health becomes zero, I want to replace their current body with a rigid body. So that one destroys itself still, but replaces itself with a rigid body. Let's do that next. Alright, at the moment, the AI damage script only has this and this is what we're going to be using for the time being for, for the bad guys we are obviously alright what you want to do first of all we need to get two new robots the first one's going to be for dead it's going to be a type transform I'll explain these two in a minute just give me a minute second one war dead sorry dead um, new pause so short for position it's also going to be a time transform. Alright. Now, dead transform is our current transform of this game object. Of any of the game objects over here. And we're going to be using that to position the new dead body, which is a rigid body, on the transform of the dead and the rotation of the dead. It may sound confusing, but when it's done, it's a lot easier to understand. Alright, so that's two rules we need. And now all we need to do is instantiate the rigid body. Now, just to let you know, I will be uploading the soldier's rigid body on the website. So, if I were you, I'll go download it right now. Uh, we're going to add the instantiate part right over here. And we're going to say dead. So, that's the current object. It's going to be equal to instantiate. Shit. Yeah. Uh, open bracket and the first one is going to be the new dead replacement so the new dead new what do I call it yeah dead new pause and then what we're going to do is we're going to tell dead new pause where to instantiate itself and the first one is going to be on our dead dot transform dot position at its current position and then its current rotation so dead dot transform <coughs> dot rotation close bracket closing semicolon and save back into unity now if you click on one of the bad guys I've already added the script onto them so you, you know how to do that already alright there they are the two new variables First of all, we're going to take the soldier to and replace him onto dead. Then the new dead position is the rigid body. And I called mine, I believe, replacement. Yeah, replacement dead. And drag that onto dead new position. Now let's see what happens when he dies. Alright. Let's give him one second. Let me place the guy on the floor again. He's way too high. There you go, perfect. Alright, let's see. So, there he is. Just gonna run up to him quickly. I'm gonna shoot him. And let's see what happens. There we go. He's now replaced with a rigid body. I know he's a bit bigger than his normal size, that's because the rigid body was made incorrectly so I'll probably fix that and re-upload the rigid body soon but yeah we know that works which is great okay jammed wow let's try for this one hold on I don't think it's got the script attached to it
Oh yes, he does. But I haven't added no things to him. Okay. Uh, his dead is gonna be this one here, and replacement body. So the bow should work now. There you go. That's how you replace him with rigid bodies. But the thing is, I don't like the way it just replaces itself with a rigid body. What I want to do is, say for example, if our AI has a death animation, how do we play that on top of this? Now, if you're thinking it's pretty easy and you just play it before this, it won't work. Now, I'll show you, just to show you that, you guys, it doesn't actually work like that. And I'm just going to say game object dot, it's a capital G, sorry. And we're going to say dot find open bracket close bracket what the animation is attached to. So I believe that's soldier 2. Uh, oops, I'm going to place that in there. And I'm going to say dot animation dot play. And I'm going to look for the animation name. And let me see what animation he's got. So. I can find a really good one that way dies somewhere. Um, crouch, run, standing, walk. He hasn't got a death animation. All right. I'll just use something then. I'll use crouch fire. That one there. It's gonna copy this animation's name. Let me just duplicate this. Uh, let me use this actually. Crouch run. I'm just going to say crouch run. Save it. And uh, watch what happens. Alright, there we go. Let's shoot this guy and let's see what happens now. There you go. Animation does not play. Now that's because as soon as the health reaches zero, it's told to destroy itself and replace it with your body immediately. This has no time to take effect. Now what I'll do is, we'll leave this right here, we'll take destroy game object and replacement, copy that, delete it from here. And we're going to call a function which is not created yet, into this place. And I'm going to call this... Um, destroy body okay open bracket close bracket close that now let's create that function let's go underneath function apply damage and make function destroy body open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace in here just copy and paste those two you had before and on top of that, all we're going to say is a yield function. I'm just going to say yield. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Wait for seconds. Open bracket, close bracket. Now, I'm just going to use a variable for the seconds because I can adjust it. No, actually, we don't. Sorry, my bad. Now, we don't want to actually use a value. We want to actually make a wait until the end of the animation clip. Now, to do that, Unity has something called animation.length. Now, to call that, you say animation. Okay. Oh, animation, that's fine, sorry. Open right. Um, open square bracket and close square bracket and inside this you want to say you want to put the animation name and it was crouch run and after the closing square bracket put a dot length now it's going to wait till the end, end of the length of the animation once the animation is completed it's going to call this destroy body now destroy body is basically doing the same thing we had here before which was called the replacement body and destroy the object. Now you should see the animation work. <clears throat> right, let's see soldier 2 
and hopefully we should have no problems. There you go. He was doing his crash animation <laughs> and he died and became a giant. So yep, yeah, that's how you replace a dead body guys. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did making it. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I will see you soon with another great tutorial.